What's up? Good morning. Uh, I thought I'm just gonna head to Whole Foods right now because I'm still feeling a little bit sick, so I'm gonna get some stuff that I always do whenever I feel sick. I had something to do with going on the hike and then it started raining and then it was super, super windy, so I felt like my immune system went down there. And then riding on the plane also because, you know, the air circulates and if some one person's sick, the air circulates to everyone else. The other thing was I didn't exercise for a really long time, so since I was exercising every day, I think that my immune system kind of like shut down when um, I stopped. Look at the movies playing in the theater. Spider-Man, I saw Dark Knight, Magic Mike, Ted Savage's Ice Age, and Katy Perry. Like that person has a mystery spot bumper sticker. The mystery spot's pretty cool, it's in Santa Cruz, and what it is is like, in that area, there's like something special or magical, I don't know. I think it has something to do with like, magnetic fields in the area. It causes weird things to happen. There's a picture of me and my friends <laughs> um, at the mystery spot. It causes your center of gravity to tilt 18 degrees. Just got to Whole Foods. Whole Foods has the best cookies. Like, these are like the best. So I got broccoli, broccoli, garlic, blueberries, and kiwi. Yeah, yeah. Love Crunch, the best granola. This one's the best. And they also have this one. This is the best one, too. And the almond butter is pretty cheap here. This is the most expensive one, $15.99. That's not bad. Versus Jesse and Gina's place, or in Hawaii, it was like $25. This is like the biggest Whole Foods I've ever been to. It's in Cupertino, um, next to the Apple campus. People from Apple like to eat healthy. So this is like one of the biggest Whole Foods I've ever been to. It's awesome. I go to a lot of Whole Foods too, so. It's like a sunny, but like nice and cool day outside today. It's awesome. It's like the best. Look, no clouds again. Yeah. So guess what? A couple of weeks ago, I dropped my keys down the elevator shaft. It really sucks. And look how big, like I have a lanyard and like everything here. And somehow it still fell down the elevator shaft. I was like, earlier in the day, I was thinking like, oh, is this, is the hole like between the elevator and the, the wall? Like right there? And then later that day, <laughs> I was like carrying all this stuff and I was like, where's my keys? And I stopped right over the elevator, <laughs> great. And then sure enough, it went straight perfectly through the hole. I went to the office to ask them, can I get, can I get the keys out? And they said, that the only people who have access to the elevator shaft is the elevator company. And if I needed the keys right away, that they would charge $1,800. The elevator company would charge $1,800. That's like ridiculous. And so I was like, you know what? I'll just wait until the elevator breaks and then I can get the keys for free. So I'm still waiting on the keys. Check it out. My parents are total Justin Bieber fans. Um, here's a deleted clip from when I was back in Hawaii and I always been meaning to show this because it's a great little clip But it's about my parents and Justin Bieber. Look at this. My parents are huge believers If you don't know a believer is Justin Bieber fan. Yeah, look at this. They got of course they bought Justin Bieber's new CD Look what it comes with. Look what it comes with Justin Bieber poster, and it's like he signed it. Just to be clear, I have nothing against Justin Bieber. I just, it's kind of funny that my parents love him so much. They went to his concert in, when he came to Hawaii. They went to his concert and sat in like the second row. They were like describing the concert to me, and I was like, wait, that sounds like you guys are really, really close to the stage. And they're like, yeah, we got a really good deal. You, it only costs like $250 a ticket. Anyway, and look, oh, Justin Bieber's My World CD. This is like a two disc special edition European import. Yeah. Yo, so ready to go to the gym today. Look, took a double dose. Yeah, yeah, so pumped. Ah, 
my gosh, I haven't gone ham like that since for uh, I can't I can't even remember. Like my arms hurt so much. I just kept doing the weights. I did drop sets until I couldn't even lift like five pounds. I can barely hold on to this camera. So it's shaking so much. Ah, feels good. Hey, what's up, guys? So. I just I did realize that I do have a gym in the building that I can film at, so I can show you some of my uh, workout routines there. So if you're interested in that, I'll be showing that in like the next few videos or so. Anyway, yeah, more to come. I wanted to discuss the getting over a cold thing that I was talking about for um, at Whole Foods. And you know what the magic is? It's garlic. I know, it sounds disgusting, right? But if it works, hey, I'm all up for it, whatever would work. Garlic, somehow they did tests, and even with swine flu, garlic gets rid of swine flu as well. It gets rid of all the flus and everything like that. I came up with like a system on doing it, because you have to eat it raw. So what you guys have to do, I'll do it, <laughs> I'll do it a little later, because the first thing you have to do is you, ha you can't do it on you can't eat it on an empty stomach or else you'll get really really bad stomach aches. The next thing you want to do is make sure that it's already peeled and don't chew it. What I found that works is you just slice it into small pieces. What you do is you swallow it with water. Don't keep it in your mouth for too long. Just pop it in and swallow it. And if you do like when you when you're on the verge of getting feeling sick, you do three of them. And guess what? Your cold goes away like magic, except the only bad thing is you don't smell that good, but hey, if it's gonna get rid of the cold, why not try that? And if you don't believe me, try Google searching it. It's like all over the internet. What's up? Heading to dinner with my relatives. We're at, at Left Bank Restaurant. I got sausage and fries and mussels here. Burger and more sausage and fries. <laughs> hey, so I'm back from dinner. I'm going to try that garlic thing that I told you guys earlier. So I have like three cloves. The bigger ones apparently don't upset your stomach as much as the smaller ones. That's what I read. So all you do is you chop them up. Bam! Okay. And then you get your water. You just put one in your mouth. Don't chew it. Because if you chew it, you get a stomach ache. And you just take your water and swallow it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you might want to be using warm water so it won't upset your stomach either. And you might want to stay away from people. Haha. <laughs> but I'll be better with for my cold by tomorrow, you'll see. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I thought I would just share with you a kind of funny story that I ran into um, at the airport. Like, it wasn't this time, it was like a couple months ago. It was in, um, in Palm Springs airport and I was sitting with my co-worker at the bar and all of a sudden they hear oh my gosh it's Jeremy Lin and I was just like what where where and I was like looking around and then like I finally find like these two older white guys like staring at me <laughs> and I was just like oh so like and I come up